You're watching Global Halifax. This is Global News Morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. Global News Morning, Friday edition. We have, of course, a great conversation coming up. Paul will be chatting with two members of the Halifax Black Film Festival yeah. who have films in the movie or in the festival. We also have a special treat for our viewers this morning. James Mullinger oh, is here. Oh, speaking of films. Oh, oh. Oh, it's, oh, you, how did that happen? I lost my mic there, but. Uh, yeah, well, that was not so television. well played, yeah, but no. there was a strong attempt there. <laughs> it was, it was, it was definitely not the, not it's the best It's Friday, execution. come on, you know, I know. it's magic. It's usually me who does these things. Okay, so right. you've met him, you've been yeah. down there, isn't he awesome? Oh, wonderful fellow. He is from the UK, James Bellinger. I was in stitches. So stand-up comedian. Stitches laughing at his uh, stand-up yesterday online. He's here this morning. He's actually in the building. Uh, he has brought Paul a DVD, apparently. That's Thanks, right. James, for that. Where's my DVD? Well, you know. Sometimes they're I offered him a coffee and gave me a DVD. <laughs> Well, I'm going to interview him, and that's going to be mine by the end of the interview. <laughs> we'll share it. Just just give it to me after you're That's awesome. This one is live at Harbor Station in 2018. So, yeah, um, which that's a big he deal, sold you know? out. When you get a Blu-ray, that's a big deal. He's a huge deal. Just wait till we tell you about this guy. He's kind of maybe like, he's, I wouldn't say he's up and coming. He's arrived, yeah. but wow, he has a, such an interesting story. We'll hear from him coming up. There's the live eye. Sun's coming out on the harbor. And I'm very excited to talk to James Mellinger. Yes. He watches our show, too, so it's always cool to have a other fan. Nice. 7.02 is our time, at least. The number of people and families who've been living in this Dartmouth hotel because they're on income assistance mm -hmm. are now being evicted with pretty much next to no notice. Now they're desperately trying to find new homes, of course, and in a city with a low vacancy rate, that can be very challenging. Yeah. Alexa McLean has more. I have nowhere to go. <laughs> Several people on social assistance who were placed in the Travel Lodge Suites Hotel in Dartmouth say... You're watching Global News Morning. worst in the rural areas. I was trying to find a gig in Sussex about six months ago. I got lost. I asked someone for directions and I swear to God, word for word, he says to me, go to the end of this road and turn left at the tree where Donnie crashed his bike in 78. <laughs> That is just a taste of James Mullinger's hilarious stand-up routine. Mullinger burst onto the UK comedy scene in 2005. He now calls Rothsay, New Brunswick home, and he has taken Canada by storm, selling out shows across the country, appearing in movies, TV shows, festivals, awards, magazines, stand-up specials, and more, all since moving to Atlanta, Canada four years ago. And we are delighted to welcome, for the first time, comedian James Mullinger to the show. Hey, James. Hey, how's it going? Good. Thanks for being here this morning. Thank you. I am so excited to talk to you. I've been trying to do this for years, and it's finally <laughs> happening. You are freaking hilarious. Oh, well, thank you. You're so funny. And I think what makes you so funny uh, is that you're from the UK, and you do kind of poke fun a little bit at the Atlantic Canadian culture, but you do it in a respectful way. And you've lived here for four years now, right. so you can do it because you've seen kind of what happens in these parts. <laughs> exactly. And there is some really great material to pull from and draw from, right? Absolutely. And this is the thing. I mean, all of my uh, material is born out of a love for the place. You know, yeah. I mean, I moved here, let's not forget, by choice. I mean, right. that sometimes people think that because I left London and moved to a town with a population of 10,000 people in New mm -hmm. Brunswick that I must be in witness protection or something. But, <laughs> That's but, what uh, I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but I came here by choice. I came here because I truly believe the Maritimes is the greatest place in the world nice. to bring up a family. I think it's the friendliest place in the world, the happiest place, of course. And I had to get used to the fact that, you know, Everyone knows everyone, everyone's related. And, uh, and so I think, you know, certainly for audiences, I think they appreciate the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm doing material about the place. Yeah. And of course, you know, all of the idiosyncrasies that we have here. But now I'm, I'm one of you. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm a maritimer now, so I'm allowed to make And people jokes. want to know what brought you here. Why are you a maritimer? Um, uh, quality of life is the main thing. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife grew up in New Brunswick. She left uh, when she was in her late teens and lived in Toronto for many years. And then Hi, London. Pam. Good morning, Hi, Pam. Pam. Hi, Pam. And Hi, River Pam. and 
Hunter. Good morning. <laughs> Hunter and Ofer are huge fans of yours, oh, by the way. So, so nice. you've just made their day. These are James's kids, by the way. <laughs> um, and so you know, we really wanted to come and give them the upbringing she had. Right. Um, and London's, of course, a great place to visit. It's a great yes. place in your twenties, but it's not a great place to grow up. And mm. we wanted to give them the Maritimes uh, upbringing. And um, you know, as you say, we've been here four years, and it's been an amazing, amazing time. When did you realize comedy was your was going to be your future? Good question. Um, funny enough, it was actually on a visit to New Brunswick. In, well, I mean, I always wanted to, to do stand up and I always, you know, but I was a very kind of uh, shy kid. I mean, I, I, you know, as a teenager, I had no, I wasn't academic, I wasn't athletic, I, I didn't have friends. I was kind of a triple bill of failure for my parents. So it, as my mum always says, it's nice to have the full set of loserdom. And, uh, and, and, I, and so it was definitely not on the cards. I wasn't the class clown. Yeah. Um, I was too scared to even speak to a boy or girl. My class, let alone imagine getting on a stage. Right. Uh, whereas, whereas Hunter now is like the lead in the Lion King. There I mean, you so go. He's, he, he's kind of uh, you know doing all of the things that I think I, I wish I'd done at that age. But um, uh, I, but I was always fascinated by comedy. I think I was fascinated mm. by the fact that I would read about comedians and they seemed like oddballs like me, but they did this incredible job. And it was a visit to New Brunswick in 2004 when I went to see a dinner theatre show on Water Street in St John, New Brunswick, uh, and watched these amazing performers uh -huh. and uh, thought wow they're living their dreams I need to do that and in 2005 I did my first gig and uh, the next five years I got booed off stage every night and then gradually started to get how it starts at it. <laughs> you sold out Harbor Station Jerry Seinfeld couldn't even do that <laughs> uh, tell me more how did this how did uh, well, I don't think it happened because you're hilarious well, but but I mean that's that's something else well I think part of it it of course was that I mean in the case of Seinfeld he arrived arrived in St. John the day of his show and did the show that night. He wasn't on the ground in St. John for six months right, before that handing right. out flyers right. well, at every still, single, you know, um, and uh, <laughs> so that was part of it. Um, also, I mean, the amazing thing about living in this part of the world is, of course, that people are incredibly um, loyal and, yeah. and they support their own. And a lot of people went out of their way to help me promote those shows. But really what I did was I arrived here and decided to treat, you know, I arrived in the Maritimes. And everyone says to me, well, you can't carry on your comedy career here. And I thought, well, I'll treat this business the same way that a plumber treats their business. I will arrive there and and just do work and earn and when people yeah. if they like it they'll tell people and it was odd because people said to me oh no 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 no, you can't be a comedian we don't have comedy scene here and i thought well you wouldn't say to a plumber there's no plumbers in that town so right. don't go there if there's no plumbers there's a lot of toilets that need unblocking there you so go. i see myself as the toilet unblocker <laughs> of comedy you are <laughs> in every way i wish we had more time okay you have to jump onto james mellinger's website we have it here on a board also want to let you know james will be at this fats theater i will be there too i'm so excited march 21st right yes, indeed, yeah. you'll be here in halifax and I haven't even touched on your your kind of your career in the UK and G working for GQ. There's a movie that's out there that is based on your story. You're incredible. You've met oh, George nice. Clooney, Amy Schumer. You have to see James's website to see it all. Uh, James Mellinger dot ca or dot com. I just uh, dot there. com, but it dot should com. be dot ca now that I'm a yeah, proud come on now. Atlantic Canadian. Work on boy. that, would you? <laughs> Uh, James Mellinger also has a great uh, DVD out, Blu-ray. I'm going to be watching this on the weekend. And I've got tickets to the show. I'm so excited. James, thanks for being here. Thank Finally. Thank you very much. So thank nice you. To meet you. Huge fan. So thank you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. And again, hi to River, Hunter, and Pam. We're back with more Global News Morning in two minutes. You're watching Global News Morning. Welcome back to the show. I have to say that was one of my favorite. Wish we had a whole hour with him. You can have a whole hour with James if you want to on March 21st. And more. At, uh, and more yes. uh, at the Spats Theater. And uh, also Maritime Edit. He is the uh, he is the founder of a really great uh, publication. Oh, okay. I saw the visuals for that while the yeah. interview was playing. I wondered mm -hmm. what the connection so was. So aside from the comedy, he also has a side business, him and his wife Pam. Good morning again, Pam. Uh, who do Maritime Edit, which is a really great way of promoting the Maritimes, the good things going on here. Cool. It's a really great uh, And two kids, busy family. He is no couch potato yeah. at James Mellinger. That's awesome. Uh, here's what's happening. You might want to stay on the couch today if you can, because it's going to be extremely cold out there. Temperature at minus 17 this morning in downtown Halifax. But the sun will be out, so if you can get out for a little bit, just to get a little bit of vitamin D, that would be a good call. Uh, it is going to be a really nice and much milder tomorrow into Sunday, too. So mm -hmm. a better, better forecast for the weekend, for sure. Move over Jonathan Torrens. We may have a new 
fan favorite funny guy on we the show. We do have a special place in our hearts for We're Dave. just joking. We're just joking, Jono. No. Still you don't have name. to call the police or anything. The police. The police. <laughs> Thank you. Right. On to local news headlines, and uh, this is a big talker this week. Schools across the province are being reconfigured now in preparation for the final launch of the much talked about pre primary mm -hmm. program. In some areas, though, this means